Hey y'all, today's gonna be another What's Soul video and it starts right now. Alright guys, welcome if you're new to the channel. My name is Julian, also is the Beard Thirt Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. Today is gonna be 20 What's Soul for me on eBay. I basically buy something low and then sell for market value on places like eBay and Facebook Marketplace. So today, again, 20 Woods sold for me in the last couple of days. I do these videos so you guys can go out there, find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you want to, go watch some of my other content. If you do like it, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, and like the video. It does help the channel out, and I much appreciate it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on the very first item. I'll try to tell you exactly how long it took to sell and roughly the amount of money I have in the item at the time of the sale. So the first one is a Ben Hogan Edge Forged irons you will see these a lot in the thrift this is probably the most irons that i see and i'll tell you this they sell a lot better in the set than they do individually so this one is going to be ben hogan edged forged irons three through nine and the e-wedge right-handed clubs these were reshafted with graphite shafts because they usually have steel shafts and they went for 75 dollars plus shipping probably took a couple months to sell and i have three dollars into each club at the goodwill and uh, like i said i find these all the time at the goodwill some ben hogan's are worth 10 to 15 dollars a piece and some are worth like a dollar so you definitely want to comp those out correctly when you're buying them this one right here is an lg vn 150s this is a brand new flip phone and i got it for about a dollar to 50 cents at a yard sale last week and it was new in box. Uh, the only thing is had, it was like open. Somebody had opened it before, but never used it. The battery was still sealed. Everything sealed in it. It went for $45 plus shipping. Again, it only took a week to sell. I usually do uh, phones in big, big lots like I showed the other day. But if they are brand new phones, even flip phones, I will sell them separately. And they usually do sell for a pretty good amount of money. This one right here is a Sony Handycam TRV68. If you don't know about these, these things are a huge bolo. I sell them all the time for over $100. This one is actually going to be out of the uh, attic slash auction that I had about two weeks ago now. I am working on a video for that. That video has taken me forever, so I will give everybody an update. I had a question about that, but I will give you guys an update probably in the next week or so. I'm um, just working my way through everything that I bought. But this one only took a week to sell, $132 plus shipping on that. It's always good if you can sell them with the cords. And uh, for some reason, they always have like the manuals with them. And I usually always throw in a case. And I think that helps the sale out because they always sell pretty fast for me. This one is a really cool mallet head bullseye. Usually sh I show you the other bullseye that has a different shape to that one. And this one is just a different bullseye uh, look to this putter. It's called a mallet head. And this one for $19.90 in the buyer to pay shipping. I had $3 into that club. And that one probably took a couple months to sell. These Mercedes-Benz hood ornaments logos emblems these were real like big and they were like probably about that big obviously going a hood ornament but they were broken as you can see there all the little things on the bottom are snapped off i got these from an auction and they did go for ten dollars plus shipping not too bad there i'm probably like a couple bucks in to each one of these so not a lot of money made there but overall on that auction i did very well this is a 35 millimeter slide projector. I bought this a long time ago, probably six to seven months ago, only for $2.50 from an auction because I got two projectors for $5 plus a whole bunch of other gear. So this is going to be pure profit, but it does take a while to sell. Went for $55 plus shipping. When you're shipping these, always remember these slide projectors are big and heavy, so make sure you charge accordingly for the shipping cost. Also, I had a comment the other day about, you know, it shows a super cheap shipping rate. It's showing the rate that if I shipped it to myself. To ship this, I think it actually cost it $23. So always remember that when I'm doing my screenshots is that the shipping is the shipping to myself. This one is going to be a vintage Magnaflex Miami, Florida 6-7 saltwater rod. And it went for $20 plus shipping. I have about a dollar into that and a big bulk buy not too long ago. Uh, rods aren't that bad to ship, but you have to be prepared to ship them. You need to ship them in poster tubes like a three inch poster tube or a two and a half inch poster tube. If you try to ship a rod full length in a, in a USPS tube, it's a hundred percent going to be an oversized package and probably not worth the actual sale. This is going to be an Odyssey dual force 660 US right-handed club. Some Odysseys go for hundreds of dollars and some go for 20 bucks. It all depends which one. So I always say comp everything out on the club itself. This is a putter and then went for $19.99 and the buyer did pay shipping. Again, I usually have $3 into those clubs. Another US Open Towel. 
went for, uh, for $15 plus shipping. This was a 1999 Pinehurst. So pretty good there. This is about the third one that I've sold. In the profit, did take about two weeks to sell. And really cool golf towels have been selling pretty good for me. This Mizuno MB67 Cut Muscle. This was a 7-iron with the S300 shaft. Again, that's going to be a, um, a steel shaft, but it's on the shaft itself. Make sure you put that. And it went for $25 plus shipping. Again, a couple bucks into that. And $25 for a 7-iron is actually pretty good. So definitely make sure to comp out the, those Mizunos. This is a Cadillac hood ornament, the gold one. And uh, there is actually a real gold one out there that's worth like a ton of money. This one was not real gold or it's gold plated. And uh, this one was not in a major. I did say that in the description. But I only had five bucks in this or ten bucks. It was five bucks and it went for $50 plus shipping. And only to, actually I had this up on auction and it did not sell for 10 days. And then I did buy it now and it sold within a couple of days. So this one right here is going to be a Titleist Pro Titanium 10.5 degree driver. Picked this up for $2 at a Salvation Army, even with the head cover. Head cover was kind of beat up, though. And they go for $29.99, and the buyer did pay shipping on that. And again, not too long to sell, only probably a couple weeks. This is another one I got out of the auction. I said I bought three rackets. Uh, these were racquetball rackets for $6, so $2 into it. I sold the first one for $15, and this is what I'm saying is that some of the head racquetball rackets go for a, a good bit amount of money. This one for $55, and the buyer did pay shipping. And you basically just have to type in, so on this racquetball racket, it said the name of it, CT, then Mean Streak, and it was a 175 gram. And it had the uh, right there where it says three and five eighths, that's going to be the grip size. I make sure I type all that stuff in to comp it out correctly. And this one went for 55 bucks only in a couple of weeks. The vintage pink caddy phone did sell. So for $60 plus shipping, this one actually is going to Canada. And I'm really upset because after I sold this and shipped it, and about a day later, I was in the storage unit going through more stuff. And I found the original box for it. So I wish I had the original box to sell it with it because it would have went for more money. But this one was in immaculate condition. This is from that big auction haul I did with the attic. And uh, these things are selling pretty good, but I'm really surprised it sold for that much money. That was a Kayla find, so I'm happy with that. This Mizuno FT Zoid Comp Easy 4 Iron went for $20 plus shipping. Again, a couple dollars into that, and that one only took a couple weeks to sell. The Titleist DTR Irons. This was a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so it's not a complete set. I have uh, only $2 into each one of these clubs, and they did go for $50 plus shipping. Titleist is a really good brand to look out for. As you saw, I just sold two Titleist things just in these. And uh, like I said, always look out for Titleist, Ping, Callaway, TaylorMade, all the brand names, and make sure you comp them out. And I'm telling you, golf clubs are selling pretty good right now. This is not brand name. This is a SZ7 Turbo Power Putter. With a nice, it did have a nice Karma grip on it. Went for twenty-four dollars and fifty cents. The buyer did pay shipping. Had that one probably for six to seven months and a couple bucks into it. These Camp King knives. These were made in the United States. Vintage folding blades. These went for ten dollars plus shipping. One is actually broken, as you can see. The bottom one is missing that little like uh, loopy thing. I don't even know what that is, but it's definitely missing it. But the knives themselves are in good condition. This one was out of the auction hall I did two weeks ago. And uh, at this point, I'm already in the profit on that. So they're going to be pure profit. When I bought them, probably only like 50 cents into them. This Tour Edge Bazooka J-Max, you will find these also in the thrift. Seems like I find these uh, a, a good bit amount of times. But you have to compound the, the bazookas. But go ahead, this one's not bad. This one's a 6-iron with the A-Flex, which is a senior flex. Went for $19.99. Got it for $3, and it only took about a week to sell. And not just golf clubs, but, uh, you know, golf brands also make hats, shirts, pants, rain gear, golf bags. They make everything, and they usually do sell if it's a good brand name. This one is going to be TaylorMade RBZ's hats, and I sold two of them because, to be honest with you, they're only worth about, like, 7 to $10 a piece, so I lotted a whole bunch together, and uh, right here, I lotted two together, and they did go for $15, and the buyer did pay shipping on that. I only had a dollar into those at a yard sale. All right, so that's 20 wood sold for me in the last couple of days. I do appreciate everybody that watches. Again, I do these videos so you can go out there, find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. Remember, if you're not subscribed, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always catch you on the next one.
Thank you.